Hi everyone, I'm Bashuru Palit. If you are faced with a ransomware attack, you are faced with potentially lengthy downtimes, inability to detect the scope of the problem. And lastly, the inability to restore if your backups get infected themselves. Our core feature of instant recovery and live mounts allows you to recover objects in a matter of seconds to minutes. All you need to do is select which object and specify the destination target and rubric does the heavy lifting for you. Our file system is fundamentally immutable, which means that they cannot be encrypted or modified once the backups are written. And lastly, uh, there's radar which can help you with the impact analysis and quick recovery. And that's what we are going to spend this demo on. So what you're seeing on the screen here is our uh, Polaris GPS, which is a SaaS-based multi-cluster manager. Radar has been turned on for this particular deployment. And what Radar is doing is every incoming backup that is coming in, that's being scanned uh, for any anomalous activities on the file system. Radar is a machine learning-based system which develops a baseline for the normal file system activity for every individual object. If anomalous behavior is detected, either in terms of file system activity, large number of modifications, additions, deletions, etc., or in terms of enhanced entropy on the file system, Radar throws an alert. Here is what the alert is exposed. If you click into it, you will actually see the specific object that uh, the alert occurred on, and it'll give you a description of the fact that anomalous activity was detected on the file system, as well as high entropy levels were detected. Radar also gives you details of the file system modification, what was deleted, what was modified, etc. And now, if you want to really peel the layers of the onion and dive deeper into what happened on the file system, you can just investigate snapshot start browsing the snapshot to see what exactly changed. So you're, we see that majority of the changes seem to be on the file shares folder. You dive deeper into here, and you're seeing the details of what has exactly occurred in the last system. As you can see, what's happening is you know a, a doc file was deleted, and then a corresponding encrypted file was added. So now you can you know, do things such as just select the delete the filter based on just the deleted files. You can select them here, or you can you know, select the entire folder, and then you can trigger the recovery operation. So when you're triggering this recovery operation, you can point it to override the original files, or you can recover to a separate folder on the same object. Radar on the back end knows the last known healthy state of these files. It's literally as simple as that. Just to summarize, Radar makes it super efficient to quickly detect the impact that ransomware had on your existing systems and then surgically restore only the damaged files that were impacted by the ransomware. So let's switch over to the other product that I wanted to uh, showcase today, Rubrik Sonar. So this is the object that was infected by ransomware that we investigated with Radar. One of the common behavioral patterns of ransomware strains that we have observed is not only do they encrypt the data, very commonly they exfiltrate the data. And having your data with an attacker is actually a massive liability. Now, how can a rubric help you in that scenario? So you remember the object that was part of the uh, ransomware attack? We drill into that on Sonar, and we see the file system has been scanned and it has a number of hits. In fact, if you select this, you actually get an overview of the kinds of sensitive information that was present in this particular VM. Having that with a malicious attacker is a massive liability to any company. So Rubrik Sonar, is a product designed to figure out what kinds of sensitive information you might have in your infrastructure. So how do we do that? Step one here is to tell the system what kind of sensitive information you're looking for. What you do is we have this concept called policies. It comes with a bunch of predefined policies out of the box. These policies are generally applicable 
to the key verticals in the customer base that we sell to. So for example, you have something specific to Australia, you have HIPAA, which is prevalent among uh, US healthcare customers, you have financials, PCI, which is very relevant. And then of course, PII information, both for the US and UK, which is generally the most broadly uh, used. You also have the advanced capability of defining your own custom analyzers by creating either a regular expression or a dictionary-based search. In this particular example, let's imagine that we are a healthcare company. We would be interested in finding sensitive information related to the HIPAA regulation. So you select this particular policy. Next, you go in and you choose the objects that you want to scan. We select a few objects consisting of NAS file shares, Windows VMs, as well as uh, Windows physical machines. And then the final step is just a quick confirmation about what type of sensitive information you're looking for, what objects you are telling the system to go scan for this type of sensitive information, and then just configure the option. That's it. It's as simple as that. In less than five minutes, our customers can be onboarded on Sonar by just turning it on on top of the backups. There's no additional infrastructure required and no impact to your primary. Our customers are blown away with the simplicity of this onboarding experience. Once this has happened, Rubrik starts scanning your backups and the results of this are displayed on this dashboard. There are multiple ways in which you can deep dive into the amount of sensitive information that is present in your infrastructure. One way is based on the number of total hits, right? So you see that this was relatively flat and then there was a spike on this particular day. So what exactly happened on this day? That could be a powerful use case. So you, all you need to do is click on that particular day and you are taken to the summary of the report from that specific day. You can actually sort by the change rate and see that all of the changes were coming from this particular VM. Then you can dive in to see what exactly happened. And in fact, what happened was that this VM was added on April 18th and hence you were seeing that spike. You can actually deep dive into the file system and see what types of sensitive information has been found. And you can actually drill into the specific kind of policy that you are interested in and then further get details on the files that have all of these hits. You can That can be downloaded here as a CSV as well. Now going back to the dashboard, you also have the ability to deep dive into the system based on the number of files with hits, the policies or the individual analyzers. A common use case that our customers use very frequently is deep diving into their infrastructure based on the objects that have the maximum number of hits. Again, you could select one of these VMs and then go look into what exactly is occurring where and seeing where exactly the different kinds of hits are occurring. All right, so in summary, to recap what we saw, Rubrik Sonar can be turned on in less than five minutes for our existing Rubrik customers. It has no additional infrastructure required and has no impact on your primary infrastructure, which is a huge benefit. And it helps you create an instant baseline of all of your sensitive data and where it occurs. Uh, and it alerts you in terms of the daily changes that are occurring on your sensitive data. So with that, what you could do is limit the exposure of the folders that contain sensitive information by reducing their permissions.